about your own. Right now, uh, Sabong, Sabong, the uh, outside temperature no. is 45 degrees. 45 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Small craft advisor. Is that ocean craft or or flying airplanes? So long. Or again. but it's afternoon, I guess.
my chair. It's my chair. Scott. Ah. Mine's hand fired. I don't have an automatic feed. <laughs> Feel free to chat, guys. I'm just sitting in the in the, on the side, uh, people wanted to see my coal stove going, so, well, the one in the house I got going when I was working and cleaning on this, this one, uh, I had my tripod up in the house, and I just didn't feel like dragging it back down to the garage, so I didn't do any of that. What I, what I did to the stove to clean, clean it up. I had to put a new uh, that chrome around the glass. That's a new piece I had to buy because I snapped off the bolts. Well, lucky for me, the stove, the stove store that sells and sells these stoves uh, where I go. They had bought a bunch of the old stock when Harmon sold the business and it became Legacy instead. It's still Harmon, but it's Legacy instead of the Mark series. Well, it's, I guess it is called, but they added the Legacy name to uh, their stoves. It's a by it's owned by another company now so I guess maybe when they sold maybe they went to the one pane glass so they bought up a bunch of these frames a bunch of old stock from the original owners and I was lucky enough that they had brand new old stock item and, and otherwise I would have had to drill out seven snapped off bolts which would not have really been fun drill them out re-tap them re-thread them so my PayPal gift of $75 Plus another one, well, that went right back into this stove again because it was $84 altogether with uh, stainless steel bolts to bolt in and, and, uh, and the trim piece itself.
Yeah, Scott. Uh, the smallest one is, let me see, I might even have the page open. The mark. The mark one. The mark one in the same thing that you're looking at, except it's a smaller stove. That heats 900 square feet to 2,600. It, it's uh, maximum BTU, it's 48,000 BTU. And it will also burn up to 24 hours. And that's setting it down low, you know, that it's barely. Same stove as mine except what you're looking at in the in the video right now is a mark three the mark three can get up to 92,000 BTUs and heats 1,900 square feet to 4,900 square feet Yeah, they sell them. They sell them brand new. Uh, I'm not sure. The Mark III is like twenty-five hundred dollars, brand new. Uh, let's see what the the website. Mark one is like eighteen hundred dollars brand new. You can find them used. The only thing you gotta watch is 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 code. You know your fire code, Scott. Actually, you know since I have a vehicle over on behind the stove, there's gas in the tank. You know you gotta watch. No open fires, I guess. I don't know. It's only an open fire until... It's only an open fire when I open the... <laughs> open the door. And then it's a closed fire, right? Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. See, now I'm, I'm running this stove a little different than the one in the house. Uh, I can probably actually even, the way... It looks different on the video compared to real life. It's darker in real life. On, on the screen, it looks like it's hotter.
Bogo Bobo's sister. You got the out by, by me, Monday, all week. Work, work calls. A bomb. You don't respect cats. You, you. Cats are okay. my draft all the way open. I mean, not my draft, my damper on the stove pipe. I have that all the way open. In the garage here, I have that long horizontal going from the center of the garage where the stove is to the chimney pipe. Uh, and that's like a good 10 foot uh, of horizontal going across. And, uh, in this stove out in the garage here, I can't close my damper the way I do in the house because I don't have as, as great of a draft up the chimney. See, it, it's, it's a little more effort, I guess, to get to the chimney, the vertical chimney, you know. So, I decided to try to run, run it with it open and see how far I can close the, damp, uh, the draft at the ash door. Is your gas furnace chimney now? They're rated different, I'm not sure. I always got class, I think it's class A, stainless steel chimney, insulated. Uh, I think class A. I don't know if, if that chimney you got for your gas furnace would, would be good to use or not, you know. Is it an insulated stainless steel chimney there, Scott? And you don't have your computer, uh, I'd say, I don't know if you Skype on your phone. Send me a picture of the chimney and what it is through Skype. Or, or email. You have my email address too as well. I'm pretty sure you do, Scott. Yeah, let me see. I had bought the one you're looking at, this stove. I bought it used, oh, way over 10 years ago. It was maybe 16, 15 years ago. I'm not sure exactly. I'd have to look at my eBay receipts from PayPal because that's where I bought it. I bought it on eBay, but it was a local, fairly local. I'm in Hamburg. The, the stove was out in Allentown, uh, like 30, 30 plus miles away. So, uh, I think I paid like $800 for this stove at that time. Nothing goes wrong with these basically if you if you 
just clean them and use them. Stuff will wear out. Grates will warp if you let the hot heat get to them. If you don't keep a little small bed of ashes on top of the grates, if you don't want to rake it down all the way to where you have the hot coals laying on top of the grates. If you if you get the fire going and she starts glowing real good, you can warp the grates. Ah, okay. Yeah, I have I have Skype on my phone too, but I mainly use it on the on the laptop. It's just easier. Better screen, easier to read. Oh, you're looking on Craigslist too. Yeah. Um they have quite a few on Craigslist sometimes, depending. Now you are, whew. They, they actually have one out in your area? Oh, okay, that's not a Harmon. It is a coal stove, though. And let me see. Let me see if I can see what's in your area. I see somebody from Moments, Illinois. They have Blast Jack Coal there for sale. Seven dollars, it looks like seven dollars a bag. And that's from Mahanoy City, Pennsylvania. That's the same coal that I burned. Blast Jack, anthracite. Let me see. It's nut. It's nut coal. I burn pee in mine. Pea coal. Yeah, as far as coal stove, geez, there's nothing in your area except that one stove that you that you showed me, Scott. Uh, I'm not familiar with that stove, Scott. Let me. That looks the outside looks something like it might have been like for in a parlor or somewhere in a house kind of fancyish looks like it's porcelain Porcelain on the outside, metal. Actually, okay, they got the door laying on the top. I, the way it looks, Scott, it looks like it's going to need work, to tell you the truth. I don't want you to buy something that you know, that's going to take a lot of work or will not, that it's ready for the junkyard, you know, basically. I don't, I don't, it's hard to tell by a picture 
but down the bottom it looks like there's cracks. There's a crack above the ash door uh, and a split it looks like going over to the, I don't know if that's ashes laying on top or if somebody tried to put furnace cement. It might be ashes, but let's see the description. Works really nice. You can use coal or 1940s. The grates, how the grates are, are they gonna shake? Are they warped? You know, uh, if it works really nice, why is the guy getting rid of it? Uh, you know, I, I just, I'm hesitant on some things when I, when, when they're listed on Craigslist. They got coal mines in your area. Actually, Scott, I'd say, I'd say no. It's not worth looking at. It's an old monster. Uh, I tell you what, I don't know. You into driving? It's just a matter of how far. How far would you have to drive in order to get a, a stove similar to what I have? Not that I want you to get a stove like mine, but I mean. <coughs> oh, let's see. Key stove. Mark one, okay. Well, that looks like a newer one. That's a long drive. And it's like 350 pounds for the Mark one, what it weighs. I don't know if you have a truck. No. Biography in black after the mining history. Scott, the, the coal, do you know it's probably bituminous that they that they mine from from your area. Bituminous coal. That's a soft coal. It's like between it's between charcoal and anthracite hard coal. It's you know it's it's real soft. 
burns fast. Chestnut coal. What the heck they show it in the last picture? That's an old beef, almost like a pot belly, but that's a, okay, that's a wood stove, wood coal, caboose. And, um. I'd say this one rather than the other one. Uh, No, it's got chestnut, chestnut, pea, rice. Those are the different sizes of coal. Rice is small. Pea is what I burn. It's a little bit bigger. Nut or chestnut nut. I'm not sure if those two are the same, but that has like bigger pieces in. There's range coal, what they call range coal, which is like nut and <coughs> nut and pea mixed, I think. There's small pieces and large pieces. And I'm not sure what the highest, you know, the biggest, largest pieces are called. But the name like that, that's, that's the size of the coal. No, Scott, I don't know everything. <laughs> yeah, but... Let's see, back to this page. They, now, here's a link, Scott to the Craigslist for Reading, Pennsylvania. Well, and surrounding area, you know, it's got my area here uh, for coal stoves. And you can see the, the huge difference <clears throat> in the amount of coal stoves offered <laughs> that are 
you know, used ones that are offered. I think they're all used. Uh, in my area, there's just way more, way more stoves. Now, let me see. <coughs> Price. Mr. Gibraltar coal stove. Stoker, Harmon Stoker. Stoker is a self fed. You know, you load the hopper up and it don't have to come back twice a day depending on the size of the hopper coal anthracite cleaner burning coal stove heating by the pound Habertown so what Four dollars for forty pounds. town you're talking about Scott <coughs> yeah. yeah I'm in I'm in Berks County and Schuylkill County north of us is basically coal country and it goes east and west and just north of us so it's like a 40 minute drive with the coal truck I, you know from where the coal breaker is where the guy picks up the coal for me it's about 40 minutes it's longer than a half hour drive down uh, coal is in this area that's why you know it's cheap it's work but it's the cheapest warmest heat you can you can get but not as much work as a wood fire. Wood, a wood fire, dangerous to me. Yeah, 
Uh, well, if, that, if that's the way you use the gas to maintain a certain amount of temperature so it doesn't go down to freezing in the garage, then cold to warm it up when you're in, in the garage, out, out there. Hello, Johnny Rogerson. Good afternoon. And good evening. I guess it's evening about, uh, I'm working up to evening, early evening for you. Um, yeah, that would work, Scott. <laughs> it's not needing a sugar. Shoogie, yeah. No, I already, I already shoogie did. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I already shoogie did. <coughs> Excuse my smoker's cough. When I talk. <clears throat> I gotta sip my coffee <coughs> and my throat gets tickly. Yeah, I finally got it going. Uh, Johnny, the garage. Well, at least one word, shoogie. Yeah, uh, Scott, Johnny, Johnny, Scott. Uh, Scott is from near Chicago, Illinois. Johnny Rogerson is from Scotland. Scotland. It's a meet and greet. Meet and greet. Can you hear me? Uh, you should be able, you can hear me good. I'm sitting at my, I'm sitting at my laptop which is on the other side of the wall with the door opening to the left side of the screen there. But, I mean, it's right there. Yeah, it looks like it's really gro glowing, you know, really fired up, but it's not... <laughs> It's, it's not, it, in real life, it's not as orangey glowing as it is on the video. Yeah, I made one mistake, though. Uh, I should have put the stove black, the, the black polish on. I should have put it on before I fired it up. I figured I'd put it on when it was warm, but it just sizzles off. It, 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 I did the bottom, the bottom and the front. I did the bottom and the front. Uh, I did the door while the door was off, while I was repairing the glass in the door. I put new glass in the door, new, new, chrome trim around I needed that piece because all the bolts that broke off thank you Johnny yes I'm glad I got that this stove going as well 
Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I did not do, which I should have done, but I got it going. We're good. I would not recommend what I did not do that I should have done. I didn't clean the chimney out or the horizontal stove pipe going to the chimney from the side. I only, I only did the back of the stove and the upright at the back of the stove going to the horizontal. Uh, I cleaned out the stove and that's where most of the, I didn't have draft, it was blocked up from fly, fly ash and uh, mostly fly ash. Scalp pit lug. Scalp pit lug. That's kind of hard to even say for me. Scalp pit lug. There's another. Scalp pit. Scott, where's Glass Glasgow? Is that Glasgow? What country? Glasgow. Hello, John. Escape. I tell you, one of my favorite things, you know, you buy pizza, good pizza, and you always have leftover. Okay, that's what I thought you were kind of getting, getting at. Well, I was not sure exactly without looking at the map, and I didn't look at the map. I was hoping you'd just let me a quick, quick answer there for me. I like to put a plate oh oh dear okay yeah uh, exactly Johnny Rogers and uh, yeah, it's, I'm not worried about it too much. Like you say, it's, it's like, you get yours done every three years, and anthracite, when I was able to clean my chimney good, when I did it myself, I had very, very little, little dirt, you know, soot, dirt, come out of the chimney stack itself, the, you know, the outside chimney board. I might have some laying in the horizontal stovepipe going to the chimney, uh, like flakes of the, the stovepipes painted black and you kind of get the, that black paint sort of peels off in, in like little small sheets like hard to explain it just be, basically peels off and it, and it almost looks like a little bit of metal might come with like rust you know but for the most part where I get the most dirt is at the back of the stove at the elbow from the stove pipe at the back of the stove and on top of the 
my battle. Now you want to slap my ear. Why? Scalp it lug. Scalp it lug. That's a hard one to remember though. I'm Jeff Johnny. You want to slap my ear. <laughs> I got to go up to the house and eat. Uh, wife just messaged, messaged me. She's, she made me some French toast, so um, I'm letting the stream run. You guys feel free to talk with each other. That's why the chat is here. Um, should I zoom in a little bit closer to the stove? It's actually dark in here. Two and a half. I changed it to one and a half. See what happens till I get back. I gotta go eat, guys. Yes, it's definitely not Snell here. It's 45 outside. Yeah, I better go or. I need to go eat quick. This is breakfast, one o'clock in the afternoon. She come for me now. I'll be back. Unfortunately, I, 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 I am streaming from my phone, so I can't take my phone and chat while I'm eating.
go two turns. Draft open two turns. Damper is open all the way. I don't have it closed at all. It's starting to uh, not burn in the corners and on the side. I'm just uh, Putting a little coal in the, where it sort of burned away in the front. Romano. Hello. Uh, well, I got the stove burning. It's hot. Can't touch it, but yeah, I'm, I have it burning basically slow. You know. I turned it down, but you can see Thanks for stopping by, Scott. Del Fuego. And everybody else. I know. We've got, we got other stuff to do. myself another regular sized tripod. I'm just not into dragging the only tripod I have back and forth from the garage to the house. Hello John Boone Bean. that means it's cold. 
Wish I had that stove here, John Boone Bean says. I guess that means it's it's getting cold where you're at. It's actually outside temperature is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. I know you use Celsius. I've been born and raised using Fahrenheit. which it would be seven degrees Celsius here. It's cold, but it's not terribly cold outside. Yes, 46 degrees Fahrenheit in Virginia. Going to be 28 tonight. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to be going down to tonight here. Uh, it says 32. Tomorrow is going to be colder, 38 degrees with 26 degrees as a low for the night. So, for the next few days after, that's going to be like in the 30s, 38 degrees, a few degrees. And, and in the 20s, 20s and 30s at night. Yeah, all week. So, I got my stoves going just in time. It's starting to get where you need the stove. You know. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad out in the garage. I had a little electric heater in my little room where I sit. And when I start working on this, this stove that you see here, uh, I had a propane tank with one of those uh, round, round burners, you know, they glow, yeah, they glow orange. Had one of those sitting in front of the stove, get things warm so I could work. That took the edge out of the cold coldness so I was able to get the stuff done now it's it's comfortable in my garage here you can be lucky for that mark three Is, is yours a, a single pane glass or three pane, Paul? Both mine, the Mark II in the basement and, and this Mark III in the garage, uh, they're the older three pane glass. So, older stoves. Uh, So you got the you got a newer a newer Mark III single glass. All mine are older, 
And yes, Mark III will will keep you toasty in the in the basement. You have it in the basement, right? Yeah, in the finished basement. That'll keep you nice and toasty down there. Like 80, 85 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. Pale form photos. Uh, a <laughs> hundred and six. 106 degrees Fahrenheit. 91. Well, you know, I have my I have my coal stove in the basement. And sitting next to the coal stove down in the basement, up up when I where I sit is like next to the step the steps that go upstairs. I'm about six feet away from the stove. And it it gets nice and warm. The ceiling, which would be the floor to the upstairs. Yeah. The that's like eighty plus degrees. Uh, its average is eighty. Right above the stove it's hotter. But, I mean, the floor, the floor for the upstairs, it's warm. No cold feet. No cold feet at all. When I have cold feet, I'm cold all over. There's no two ways about it. Nothing better than a coal fire. Lasts a long time. And it's cleaner than wood. Not that I'm doing. Well, uh oh. I'm spinning. What happened? I was just spinning there. I don't know if my internet connection is going to fail on me out in the garage here. But it was spinning there a little bit. I'm I'm doing this through StreamYards. Or not StreamYards, Streamlab app on my phone. And uh it dies on me. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start it again. But if it dies, that's the reason it. It is no longer here. <laughs> uh, I don't rudely just shut the stream down. You know. I used to go on pet coal pail. Uh, it 
was actually called something else before that when I went on a few times looking for information like the price of coal or what have you coal pails a good good site if you need if you have questions there's people there to help you Paul, I'm in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. It's about the same, uh, I mean, for weather temperatures, outside temperatures. New Yorker. So you moved someplace where you thought it would be a little warmer. A little warmer. Now it's a lot warmer because you got yourself a coal stove, right? Seventeen years in Virginia. When you first moved to Virginia, you got you saying. You got there a day after a blizzard, two feet of snow. Is that when you first went down? 17 years ago. Yeah, said, we're gonna miss you. The snow, the snow said, we're gonna miss you. Well, I think it was the first winter here in our house in Hamburg. I used to live in Shoemakersville. And um, the first winter here, I think it was a, a really bad blizzard. Gosh, I was shoveling snow. I was outside for eight hours or, or a little more shoveling snow. It was so deep, I couldn't even get the my ATV with the snow plow on. I couldn't get it out of the garage. It was so deep. That was in, that was like 2015 we moved up here. I don't know if it was 2015, 2016 winter, but it was a the first year or second year. It was, it was nasty. I was shoveling snow so long, because I knew if I went in the house, I wouldn't want to go back outside again, that my coal fire almost went out. My wife said, honey, the fire's going out. <laughs> Uh, that's 
one of those things. I'm not fast, but I'm steady, you know. No need to get a heart attack over it. But I knew if I went back in the house, took my clothes off, warmed up, I'd, I'd feel the aching of my muscles. So I just stayed at it till I got done. Wow. Glad it hasn't snowed like that since. I got a snow blower and I haven't really used it. Huh. I think the first year I got it. It's been sitting since. I think that's insurance. You buy a snow blower, you know it's not going to snow. You don't have one, it's going to snow real deep. As soon as I sell it, as soon as I sell it, we're going to get a major storm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if mine runs. I'd have to change the gas. It has a cutoff, a cutoff on the fuel line, so... There's no old gas in, in the engine, I don't think. Because I turn that off and then run until it starves. But uh, the gas that's in the tank is bad. Yeah, I am too. Plus, this uh, ethanol stuff that's in the gas, it's bad enough gas goes bad after a period of time. But the ethanol in the gas turns to water, and that ruins, that ruins a lot of engines. It corrodes the little, the needle valve, uh, you know, for, for your carburetor and stuff. It ruins a lot of stuff. Finally, Wawa, no, I, yeah, Wawa. No, is it Wawa? No, it's not Wawa. What is it? Because I don't go there much. Can't think of the name of the store. Old age creeping in. Wawa? Sheets? Maybe it is Wawa. No, it's not Wawa. That's the name of the store. No, it's, it's like a gasoline, like a Sheets, like a Wawa. Uh, but I don't think it's Wawa. Man. All right. I got to go look at the map. I go look at the map. Okay. I hate that when you can't remember. Uh, yeah, it is Wawa. Oh, uh, Wawa just didn't sound right. Wawa. Yeah, it is Wawa. Wawa has ethanol-free gasoline at it's 80, 89% octane. One seventy, I think it's one seventy-six, but. But that's times two. That's times two, Michael. That's times two. Two coal stoves, Michael. Well. 
Maybe I'll have my watch time hours up to 4,000 by then. I'm just a little over a quarter of the way there now, the way it is. Jeez. These, these boring cold live streams, you know, the, these live streams where, you know, boring as, as all heck, uh, they, they are adding up as far as watch time and views. They're doing a lot better than an upload would do. I have no idea why, but they are. <coughs> Michael, and it's Two o'clock in the morning, my no, wait, no wait. It's one fifty nine here. One fifty nine PM. So I can't remember. No, we went back, so that means you're you're two fifty nine. You're at about three o'clock in the morning, Michael. Or, or one o'clock. Spring forward, fall backward. You're at three o'clock. I hate when they do this time change thing. Normally it's 12 hours. 12 hour difference, easy to remember. Now it's, I guess we're behind. We're behind in the States. Because uh, it doesn't get light so soon. So it's spring forward, fall backward. Let's see. It's dark in here. Let's see what that does. something aircon. Who turned on the aircon? There it is. Just turn my aircon on. 3 a.m. How comes I see that over here? Comes I seen the that last, but it's not popping up in the chat. Man, this Streamlabs is a little freaky today. Flying ants just hatched and they are every, oh man. It's not showing up over in this chat over here. Okay, there it is. <sighs> chat kind of freaking. I 
had to refresh my page here. It was like, it was like farting or burping. I don't know. What, what, what I seen the chat on, on the screen. And, uh. It keeps on repeating now. No idea. Something's up. Goes the flying ants just hatched everywhere again. I think uh, I think this thing is farting. We got gas. It's burping or farting. Or See, there it goes again. I don't know who's doing that. can't make it pop up because but it just keeps on repeating itself Michael two hours is long enough I guess There it goes. I don't know what it's doing. But whatever it's doing, it'll be ending very shortly. I don't know. What, 113? Two hours I'm going to end this. Should have done it from YouTube's page instead of Streamlabs. Maybe. There it goes again. I hate spraying stuff to kill that ants, flying ants and stuff, but that's one thing I will use, but only use it when I need to, the poison to kill ants, flying ants. Wasps. Okay. 
I'm Rob. Yeah, I'm Rob. This keeps repeating. I don't know why. Flying ants. Why does it keep repeating? Does it repeat the last three? I don't know. The last comment? I don't know. Hello, Joe Romano. I see you over on. I see you on. I see your. Yeah. The. The comment. The chat section isn't responding it's not responding it's not a Google problem I mean YouTube thanks Joe Got it all cleaned up and no place to go. Now there we go again with that. It keeps popping up. Why? I'll be ending this live stream when it gets to two hours, Joe. I'm having a little, what seems to be technical difficulties. I wonder why, I don't know why it's doing this, but I'm going to put an end to it. <laughs> uh, only so much to see here anyway, right? I need to have a story time. Story time. And I'm not good at reading. Story time. And I'll get a copyright strike because I'm reading a story that's copyrighted, right? My version. <sighs> yeah, no. Now I'm getting a whole bunch. Uh, Okay, Michael. Besides, you need sleep. Soon time to wake up. Good night, Mike. Thanks for stopping. Scam Dell. <laughs> See, I got I got the chat popping up on the video screen but on my end here it's not it's not refreshing it's not I don't see it over in the chat window no the my Joe Romano the this one that you're looking at is a mark three it's one one full great larger Yes, technical difficulties. It's one full grate larger than the, the stove in the garage. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like farting on me here. 
Yeah. I'm gonna end it. It's now two hours. So I want to thank everybody for stopping in. Uh, it's probably YouTube's end. It always is. So. Uh, sit back down on my Yes. Uh, I don't know what's going on with it, but two hours, we're good. So I'm going to end it since I got this chat problem thing. I got to get used to ending when, when there's people here. Sorry, when it's time to go, it's time to go. You know, I appreciate everybody stopping by. <sighs> and those few people who donate and PayPal to me, I appreciate that as well. Like I said, it bought me uh, that chrome, pre chrome piece around the glass. Basically paid, paid for that, which was nice. Uh, it's always something anyway. I'm not here to ask for money, but when it comes my way, I appreciate it, and I, I try to show my appreciation as well. All right, so, but I'm heading out, turning off the live stream, and want to thank everybody for stopping. Ah, it popped down. Bye, guys. <laughs>